Okay, welcome to this lab video. Here we're doing server 2016. We're going to be adding a secondary domain controller to an existing domain. So what we're going to need is we're going to need DC1 and DC2. So DC1 we already have configured. It I hate the service. It keeps not wanting to start. All right. Everything is looking good. It has Active Directory, has the main uh, name services running. All right, so DC2 is up and running. Oh, one of the things is this is not part of the domain. So you're going to notice it's not part of our ACE domain. So we're logging into a local account. One thing we're going to have to make sure is what IP address is on DC1? DC1 happens to be 192.168.1.10. On DC2, we're going to have to change its DNS settings. First of all, let's try to find out why. We're going to try to ping our domain, ace.local. It can't find it. That's because our DNS is currently set to Google. Google doesn't care where a local domain is. So that's why we need to actually point this guy to our primary domain controller that's running DNS. Give it a second. Let's try to ping our domain again. Now we can. All right, let's back out of all of that. Let's add a role. We're going to be adding Active Directory Domain Services. We're going to let it go through its process. All right, there it is. Now we're going to have to promote it. So here's where it gets interesting. Add a domain controller to an existing domain. Add a domain to an existing forest. Well, we don't want a child domain yet. That's later video. So that's going to be this guy right here. Add a domain controller. What domain? You know what? Let's go ahead and type it in. Ace.local. administrator, type in the appropriate password. Ace slash administrator with the password. That will query our domain. Hit next. Again, we're doing DNS and a global catalog. Set our directory service for store mode password. You notice that again, th there is still no DNS de uh, delegation. That's because DNS is not installed from this guy. We're going to be replicating from, you can specify which domain controller or in our example, we're going to install from any domain controller because we only have one. So it will verify prerequisites, click install, and it takes a few moments, so just bear with it. Okay, so it installed and it auto restarted. You'll notice here again we see our ace a domain. So we're going to double check some settings, but that's pretty much how you do it. Give it a second for the server to start up and load all of the items. All right, so DNS is what we really care about. I don't know why I always click there. DNS manager. 
You'll notice this is DNS on DC2. We have a forward lookup zone. We have a reverse lookup zone, and you'll notice both pointers are there. Let's hop over to DC1. And again, if you go to DNS, and we're looking at our reverse lookup zone, you'll see that both guys are there, and they are, and that's good. So the one thing that we have now is we have two domain controllers and two DNS servers. Why don't we make sure that our IP addresses were DNS actually map that way? 192.168.1.11. This will use the primary first, and if not, we'll go to DC2. We're going to do the same thing on DC2. We are going to have it go to first DC2. Oh, it actually already pre-did that for us. That's a nice little thing for server 16. In server 2012, 2008, 2003, 2000, you had to manually do this portion. But you'll notice it will go to the primary domain controller and then to our backup one just in case. I take that back. I remember typing that in. That way we could actually access our ACE domain. All right, so lastly, let's verify it's working. We can do this several different ways. Uh, we can verify that users and computers is replicating. I actually want to go to sites and services. That's how I like to do it. Because we're going to have a default first name site. And we're going to have the servers in that site. And you'll see that there they are. Both of them have the appropriate settings. And they're all underneath that site. So any server or any computer or node on this network that's trying to access this domain should be able to point to either DC1 or DC2. And it should pull the correct information. All right. That is the last part of this lab. Next, what we'll be doing is either setting up a standalone DNS or we'll be looking at children domains. Thank you.